It's a concerning report for the military. Dozens of bases are at risk from sea level rise, and Virginia is among the most affected of states, with six installations on the list. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding spoke with a local expert who says the Navy and Air Force need to take action. Doing nothing isn't an option. Ultimately, the sea is going to rise, the land is going to sink. The new report from the Government Accountability Office says the effects of climate change, such as sea level rise, may damage infrastructure at DOD installations and result in increased costs that are projected to rise as extreme weather events become more frequent and intense because of climate change. Consequently, the report says bases may be exposed to greater than anticipated damage or degradation as a result of extreme weather or climate-related effects. It went from being sort of a dirty word to now a fact that we all accept and we now plan for. Retired Colonel Paul Olson spent 28 years with the Army Corps of Engineers, including four as the Norfolk District Commander. He is now Executive Director for Programs and Partnerships at Old Dominion University, specializing in sea level rise planning. He says locally, Naval Station Norfolk and Langley Air Force Base are most at risk from climate change. We need to look at it through the eyes of military readiness. If it's worth defending, if it's important to our national security, it's imperative that we invest our resources to put infrastructure around to protect that. The new GAO report follows a Department of Defense report earlier this year which concluded that 53 of 79 bases are at risk for flooding, 43 are at risk for drought, and 36 are at risk for wildfires. We have a link to the full GAO report on our website, 13newsnow.com. Look under links in the news. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.